this episode of Cool 10, we're here with Brian Brown. He's one of the principals with Lifetime Developments, and we are going to be discussing their newest project, Panda Condominiums, coming soon to the Young and Dundas neighborhood in downtown Toronto. It's been making a lot of headlines lately, and we're about to find out why. Well, Panda is a project that we've been working on for four years. Um, a lot of work goes into a project before we actually come to this point, which is the sales process. But uh, the most exciting part about Panda is the fact that, it, that it's located at Young and Dundas. Young and Dundas is the highest pedestrian traffic intersection of the city. It's the heart of the city. It steps from the TTC, from the Path Connection, from Ryerson University, and from the Eaton Center. So it's, it's really center ice when it comes to Toronto. Panda will have, uh, it's a 30-story building, and on top of the podium is the amenity space. So it's a mixture of indoor and outdoor amenity space. Um, the part that I'm most excited about with the amenity space is actually the outdoor sport court, which is something that we haven't really seen in uh, a condo development so far. Um, these sport courts are a brand new uh, type of facility. They can be used for basketball, for soccer, for hockey, for volleyball, so it's a really cool um, amenity for a building. It's actually connected to the indoor fitness facility, which is a pretty sizable amenity space. We know that people really love the fitness aspect within a building, and it's an important core amenity. But in addition to that, we also have uh, your outdoor barbecue area, your indoor dining area and lounge area, games room with pool table, ping pong table, foosball. Um, so really the space caters to everybody. Uh, the suites are designed with uh, Ciccone Simone. Uh, so we went to one of the best designers in Toronto. Uh, we spent a great deal of time looking at the space, making sure that they're designed. Um, not just looking at what's the proper size for a one bedroom unit or a bedroom within a unit, but also paying close attention to what type of furniture could be laid out within a space. So we're very conscious of uh, the fact that these are uh, efficient spaces or need to be designed as efficient spaces. Um, but we also, when we look at a building, we're looking at, or we look at a suite, we don't just look at the suites, we look at how that suite works within the building as a whole. And that's why the lobby and the amenity space are all looked at as extensions of the suite. Panda is sitting on a pretty sizable piece of land on Edward Street. So when we designed the building, we were dealing with a very, very large footprint. And what we wanted to do was try to make the building look like it's actually two buildings. And that's why we designed one side to look like a white building and another side to look like a, a black building. And that's obviously how we got to the name Panda. Um, in addition to that, we, we also talked to the architect and we wanted to make sure that this building really stood out amongst all the other buildings. And so looking at it, uh, trying to make it an iconic building. And when talking about iconic uh, buildings or architecture or influences, uh, the name Panda obviously came up again. When you say Panda, people know what you're talking about. They know uh, black and white is really what's connected most to the Panda Bear. Uh, as I mentioned already, the favorite feature is actually the sport court, but I also like some of the other elements within the amenity space, which is uh, the uh, auditorium style theater room. Uh, for me, that's, that's actually what I'm looking most forward to is the theater room. I find that they're highly used. They're, uh, they're great for booking with friends. They're great for watching you know, the football game on the weekend or doing a movie night with friends. Uh, it's definitely one of the most uh, sought-after neighborhoods. It's a very strong area. It's growing quickly. Um, what I think about most when I look at that neighborhood is actually Ryerson University and all the changes and evolutions that are happening at that university right now. And it is literally at the end of Edward Street. It's at the end of the block. So the connection of this building to Ryerson University, I think, is a very strong factor. Um, but also looking at the fact that this building is located within all of the hospitals in the city. Um, so there's a great connection. Uh, access to me is the most important element when looking at a building. Um, this building has it all. It has connection to restaurants, to the hospitals, to universities, and, uh, and that's very important. Absolutely. I mean, I think when you look at 
growth of neighborhood and growth of, of uh, investment. Um, I think that Young and Dundas is one of the, the hottest spots in the neighborhood, or in the city rather. It's uh, the strongest intersection. Young Dundas Square is, uh, is the core uh, square of the city. So when it comes to um, nightlife, when it comes to uh, the financial district, when it comes to employment opportunities, this is really where it is. Well, we've got uh, the Eaton Centre, which is the largest mall in the city. Um, so pretty much everything is there, whether it's designer or restaurant. You have Joey's, you have Tironi, um, you have Ryerson University and all the restaurants around that. Um, my kids love Silver Snail, which is a comic book store that's right at the end of the block as well. So it really, when you look at a city and you look at all the amenities that come with the city, not from the building itself, but from the neighborhood, you have everything at the doorstep. Uh, it's the little details. You know, we've been around for 30 years, as you mentioned. We started in low rise, we moved to high rise. Um, we've really paid attention to not just how a building is built, but also how a building gives back to the neighborhood over time. And so uh, we started a foundation three years ago. Um, and through that charitable foundation, we raise funds to put back into the neighborhood to support a number of different initiatives. Um, when it comes to building the building, we're focused on the uh, finishes. We're focused on great architecture, bringing the top designers into the building to really uh, give back something that we know is going to have longevity. Uh, it's going to have. Um, it's going to be timeless, and uh, it's going to be something that people are happy and proud about bringing their friends and family to. Uh, I've been with Lifetime for 14 years, almost 15 years now. Um, I started uh, doing customer care uh, in one of our Bolton subdivisions, um, moved on to, to leasing and, and just I've seen all the different aspects of the industry so it's really given me a chance to see things from A to Z. Um, now I look after everything from site acquisition to um, construction and, um, and it, it's amazing the, the number of people that have to get involved in a project in order to get it off the ground and all of them bring so uh, very important aspects to the development um, and influence it in different ways and, and it's great bringing those people together and then seeing at the end of it the, uh, the end product and being proud of that too. I'm Brian Brown and this has been The Cool 10.